Hey, I wanted to show off a little project I'm going to do here so I can show you how it turns out. So this is a pretty nice hammer I got. Um, one of my used tool deals. You know, obviously I cleaned it up um, quite a bit. And then the handle was in rough shape. So I painted that. I left that they had some tape on here because there was a crack. Um, and I exposed when I took the tape off, I saw that. And so it doesn't look like it's really that detrimental, but I thought I'd just leave that tape on there because I was going to be putting grip tape over it anyway. And this maybe is giving some additional strength to it, but um, I don't foresee that being an issue. So since this was a nice hammer and I liked it, I liked how it looked and I liked the shape of the head and that it's a good, a good quality brand. I wanted to look into getting some special grip tape to do the handle so that the handle looks nice and to cover up this area. So this stuff is called Tommy Tape Grip Wrap. It had some good reviews on Amazon. So that's why I wanted to try it. It does come in some different colors, it looks like. So it's supposed to be really easy. It's made for any type of you know handle that you want to put it on. So not just tools, but they did specifically call out tools. And all you got to do is peel this off and then start wrapping it and just wrap over you know like that so that you're covering that space over and over until you get to the end and then you're going to cut it and if you start like right down at the bottom you know you can leave a little bit of overhang if you need to and then you can trim that off nicely so that's all you really need to do just keep doing that overlap wait till you're done so there's no um it's a self-fusing grip so it's going to just harden to itself and it apparently works great. So I'm not going to have you guys watch me roll it on. I'll go ahead and do that. And then after it's done, I'll take a little video and show you how it turned out. Okay, that did not take too long, but I definitely have some learnings that I can share so that you guys can do a better job of it. Um, first of all, this was five feet. So I got to about here and there wasn't a lot left. So I was like, well, I'm just going to do the whole thing because there's not going to be enough of this Tommy tape left over to do anything with. I thought there might be enough to do another hammer I had, but it just wasn't worth it. So I thought I'll just wrap it to the top. Well, one thing I didn't consider is I probably should have started at the top and gone down. That would have been better because I started at the bottom here and I started at this nice angle, which looks really good on this side. And this doesn't necessarily look bad on this side, but if I would have started at the top, I could have just gone straight down and then just cut that at an angle at the bottom. And I think that would have looked better. So, I mean, I'm not really happy with how it turned out, but that was more just my fault and just from learning from uh, from trying. So, hey, big, it's not a big deal. But, um, yeah, I definitely would start at the top of wherever you're going to start, work your way down so that you can just wrap straight. Um, I mean, this looks – I don't think that looks bad. I just think it would be easier to do. It's very quick. This is not sticky at all on the backside since it just basically bonds to itself. So when you're touching that backside of this, it doesn't stick to your hand. So it's really easy to apply. So I definitely say this is a good route to go. If you're going to add some sort of, you know, grips to anything, I'd go this route. Um, Taking, you know, into account, it's about 10 bucks for a roll of about five feet. So, you know, you just need to consider whether that's going to be worth it or not. Um, all the colors were the same prices. So if you went with black or red or blue or yellow, whatever they had. So... But it does feel good, feels like it's going to hold up, and it does feel nice in your hand. And I don't know, I just thought it was a cool hammer because of the brand and just, you know, cleaned up nice in the shape of the head. So for me, it was worth it, but it might not be in a lot of cases of tools just because, you know, 10 bucks is a lot to grip something. But, you know, if it's a decent hammer, a decent mallet of some sort, it might be worth doing. So check them out. They're just on Amazon. Tommy Tape is what it's called.